Hi, this is Yardane Frankel with Honest Reporting's Jerusalem office. CNN did a video for the Olympics called Gaza Runners London Games Dream a Reality. Now, it's a very touching story about a young Palestinian woman who is competing in the Olympic Games despite the hardship of training under Israeli military rule. For many Palestinians, this is real life in the West Bank. Protests, tear gas, part of their constant struggle for an independent country. But amid this chaos, Palestinian athletes like Waroud Sawalha are being given the chance to run under the Palestinian flag. Now, let's, let's skip the fact that this runner trained in Egypt, Jordan, and Qatar. Uh, let's skip the fact that she's not from Gaza, despite the video's title. Uh, let's focus on certain aspects of this video which are simply biased. Look at the backdrop. Let me show you. To make the story more compelling, we see some file footage of a small protest somewhere with what looks to be a handful of foreign activists and journalists. Of course, we have pictures of Israeli soldiers firing guns and a Palestinian waving a flag. This, we are told, is all part of the Palestinian struggle for an independent country. The struggle for an independent country? The Israeli government has invited the Palestinians to negotiate time and time again. The struggle for an independent Palestinian country has nothing to do with all this tear gas and these riots. And a runner training in Egypt to compete for the Olympics has nothing to do with the tear gas that we see in the disturbances in this video. So I ask you, why does CNN feel the need to show this unrelated footage that has nothing to do with this runner in this piece? Could they be trying to convey sympathy for the Palestinian point of view at the expense of Israel? You can do something about it. Write to CNN and say that anti-Israel journalism is not acceptable.